Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here, and today on Total Recon we are going to be looking at a game that is barely, just barely in alpha at the moment. Um, it's a really, really short game, and it's called Return of the Obra Dinn. And uh, if you're wondering why it looks the way it does, it's not artifacting on the video or anything. This is actually how the game is. It is this very sort of high contrast pixel style that's reminiscent of a lot of the old um, arcade games of the past. Now this style you might recognize is a little bit similar to uh, another game called Papers, Please. And that's no coincidence because it's made by the same guy, Lucas Pope. So we're going to take a look at this uh, because it is quite an interesting game. So let's hit the begin button over there. So the premise of it is, you're playing as a sort of detective, and you've got to go find out what happened on a ship. Right? You've got to find, figure out the mystery. So of course, this is an early development build, so let's just give it a shot. And of course, I would tell you exactly the same thing. Rough edges, no pun that's intended, obviously. Right. The company called on me. Said you need ferry to the ship. Seems a bit late, if you ask. I didn't. It shouldn't be back, you know. The Oberdin. I know. Could be cursed. Could be. Your box there. What's in it? I don't know. Looks heavy. Hoist it up in a few minutes. What? How? Carefully. Alright, and here we are. And this. Yep, our first objective is find the crew muster roll book. And there's very. not many controls actually. Space to interact with things, and WASD, and mouse look, because this is a first person game. In fact, that's probably the first. first person game that I played that looks like this for a very long time. Yeah, let's have a look around. It is actually in full 3D. I will point that out. So don't sort of dismiss as, oh, you know, it's a 2D pixel game. No, it's not. It's actually in 3D. It's just got this highly stylized sort of filtering going on, which it's an interesting choice in style, but I think kind of adds to the atmosphere a little bit. I think I'm, I might be a little bit more creeped out than I would normally be. But anyway, the, gi the gist of it is this, this ship just sort of uh, floating back towards the harbor. Now sails up to speak of. And uh, you kind of been called on by the East India Company to go and investigate what's happened. So of course, this is probably a merchant vessel of some sort. So let's have a look, see what's going on. Oh, hello. There's a body over here. Well, there's not much of a body left, really. It's been so long it's become bones. Let's try not to step on him. He's carrying an axe of some sort. Oh, look at that. My hands reaching out for the things it can go, sort of um. Go a little bit closer, and mm, that's a nice door handle. Mm, rotate the hand all the way around. That's right. Ah, uh, yes. Let's open the door. Let's have a look. See. Oh, hoy, your box. Put it here. All right, you do that. Let's go check out what the box is. Where is it? I think it's over here. All right. Let's just give this a look, see. That's a little suitcase of some sort. I like how it sort of like reaches out for it. It's like there, it's over there. Use the force. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Mento Mortis. Remember death. Alright, so it's a little pocket watch of some sort. Okay, so as much as I make fun of the whole hand reaching out thing, it does add a little bit of context to it because, as you can see, there's no indicators of any sort, there's no heads up display or anything, so it does give you a good indication of what you can interact with and what you can't. Um, although it does a bit misleading because some of the doors are locked and it doesn't let you um, open them. So, there's that. See, just to demonstrate the point. Doesn't let you open that. 
Okay, so let's see what this watch does then, shall we? Oh, it's going back in time. Captain! Open the door! Kick it in. Ah! Lest we break it down and take more than those shells! You bastards may taste exactly what I give you! Oh, hello. Alright, so everything seems to be sort of still frame, trying to absorb what's going on here. So it seems that we've we had a chance to go back in time and have a look at what's going on. This is probably the captain they're talking about. He's got a pistol. Flintlock pistol, some sort. And he's shot this guy straight through the neck. Okay, so he's obviously dead. He, oh, he's the guy that was carrying the axe, so he's the, the body that's down here. Um, and then there's this guy. And there's another one going up the steps over here. So there's a total of four people that we can see right now. So he's going up there. Alright, so we've got to remember all this. This guy has been shot. He's the body on the ground. There's one more guy unaccounted for. And then there's a captain with a pistol. Alright, and then one more going up the stairs. Got that? Good? Alright. You can see. If we do have a limited time to do this, so we kind of have to observe the scene and see what's going on before we kind of fade back into um, the modern day. Or the present day. Alright. There's another room over here. There doesn't appear to be anything else. Also, we still need to go and find that book. There it is. That's it. That's the one. Alright, so this is the crew muster roll for the Oberdin departing to Formosa in 1802. And agent of the Honorable East India Company. That's be this Edward fellow over here, so there we go. Alright, so what we have to do is determine the fate of all of the people on board. And obviously this is something that we return back to the company for whatever purpose they're going to use it for. Um, and that's the... The aim of the game, really. The the problem with this at this stage, it's really hard to tell who's who. Like, I know who the captain is, right? The captain is... Yes, we've got to determine the fate of people on board. Press tab to open at any time. Yes. Okay. So, at the moment, I know that... Okay, this guy's been shot. I don't know who he is. And I, I guess maybe this is the captain? Or maybe he's the captain? I'm not sure. But the thing is, you can't... I don't know how to tell who's who, really. And I don't think that's the point. After all, this is really early development sort of stuff. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. So you can see a lot of telling signs in the sound effects there, and pretty decent voice acting too. Uh, okay, so it looks like he's got some sort of pointed stick and he's gone and stabbed... Uh, I guess this is the captain who had the long hair after all, and he's kind of stabbed him in the uh, shoulder with it. But he's in return had his throat slit um, with a knife, but no sign of the pistol though. So I'm guessing that this is the guy that was standing next to Axeman over there. Probably. He might have been. I'm not entirely sure now. But yes. And it does appear they were fighting over some sort of treasure, maybe, that they found. So, little telling glimpses of the story that's going to be um, probably revealed in the full game when it finally comes out. Alright, so, this uh, definitely looks like it. Um, this is our victim over here, who's been, who had his throat slit. And, uh, this knife. Yep. Also, there's another knife over here. But then, I guess this would be the captain, then, after all the stick is here, isn't it? Maybe it is! Maybe it isn't. Let's find out. Ah! 
Okay, so we definitely heard the gurgling sounds of this man bleeding out over here. And the sound of a knife, and I suppose that would be this knife over here. And in retaliation, he's kind of hit this guy over the head. So this would probably be the other man that was on the upper deck earlier. And I suppose he came in through this door and then tried to stab the captain in the side. That looks like what might have happened, yes. So, he's done that, and I, I'm i not sure if that, if that is a killing blow. I mean, it must be, because his bones are there. So, I guess he suffered a pretty severe head wound then. Um, yeah, so that probably would be what killed him. This captain's one tough person. Okay, so it would definitely appear that that's what's happened, and I suppose the captain pulled the knife out. Oh, uh, one thing to point out is that every time we go into these sort of um, events or flashbacks, uh, a new area opens up. So this door that was closed before is now open. So it would be reasonable to assume that the captain went into this room. Uh, uh, there, there's his body right there with a the pistol and uh, this knife. So I guess he pulled the knife out and ended up here. Now this picture over here, I think we can pretty much surmise what happened. But let's have a look around. Oh, hang on. There's another body over here. And... But this one's all tucked up in bed. I don't think this is the one that killed him. No, I don't think so. It looks to me like this was suicide, but... Well, we have the option to. Let's find out. Abigail. Your brother. My friend. I shot him. Dead. I'll be with you. Soon. So that's definitely suicide, then. Uh, no doubt about it. And I suppose this is... Alright, so this would be Abigail, then. That's Without a doubt, that's actually a female face. So that would be who he's talking about. Perhaps... She might have been alive at this point. I don't think she's dead at this stage. Maybe dying, perhaps. But he definitely was writing a suicide letter, or maybe talking to her before he did this. But I guess we can kind of picture everything that's happening right now. You know. There was a scuffle, and he felt guilty about the one he shot, which is down there. Uh... Oh! That's how we can tell who's who now. <laughs> I think we might have just figured this out. Right. So, the captain, of course, we know, his is suicide by gunshot. And let's look for Abigail. Right, Abigail, we'll have to check what happened to her. Um, let's see, Witteral. Witteral. Got to look for somebody with a similar name. That'd be Witteral. Witteral. Oh, hang on, there's a place of birth as well. I suppose, yeah, they would be from the same place as Colin, Scotland. Right, so let's have a look then. Maybe it's the same place. I don't see another one that's the same. That's quite worrying. Oh, wait a minute. She was married to him, so that's his wife. That would explain a lot. That's why she has that name. Oh, hang on. 
So that... Oh, her brother was the first mate. And he was killed by... Yep, crewmates. Robert with a gun. Yes. So who the balls are the rest of them? <laughs> because there's two others that are unaccounted for and I don't know who they are. And, uh, yeah. I, I don't think we're going to be able to figure out any of these because there's nothing to connect them now. Doesn't seem to be anything anyway. Alright, well I'm gonna leave this here because I think that's as far as we can possibly get with this. But this is a very interesting game and considering that it's very early on it has some very very nice sound design and definitely some very very good voice acting. I was quite surprised at that. I wasn't expecting there to be voice acting at all um, considering that especially Papers Please didn't have uh, too much in the way of that at all. It was kind of... Um, sort of, well if, you, if you've if you heard it or played it you'll know what I mean, um, sort of grunting kind of things. But yeah, this is definitely uh, a very interesting one. I like this whole flashbacks and sort of mystery solving. It's not the first time that this has been done in the game, mind you. This is definitely uh, not a, a completely new concept, but just to see it being done in this way, and if it's done really well, definitely could be a very interesting game. And Honestly, it doesn't look like a very simple mystery to solve because we still need a lot more parts to figure out um, who these guys are and what happened to them. So, yeah, I'm going to leave this here. This is The Return of Obra Dinn. Uh, this is currently in a sort of very early development build. And it's available on uh, Itch.io. The link will be down in the description below. You can download this for free and give it a try. And... Uh, Definitely, you know, let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, especially if you've tried this for yourself, and whether you've even figured it out completely or not. I probably won't be, you know, doing too much of these, because it definitely might be spoilers for the story later on. So, I'm going to leave it as is. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is Panzer taking a look at Oberdin, or Return of the Oberdin. And I'll see you next time.